Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to the Climb to Master, the series that we go on my main account and attempt to climb to Master. Now, at the moment, it's not going great. We're a Diamond 1 0 LP. So, we did get up to like 35 or something recently, but then I lost two in a row, which was the, the Toxic Camille episode yesterday. And then I played another one after, didn't record, and I played Dasus and it, it didn't go very well. I was against the Quinn, I held my own in lane phase. But unfortunately, Quinn got a little bit too far ahead in roaming, and then she just wrecked me. So that sucked. But it's fine. Again, I'm having fun at the moment. As, as long as League is fun for me, then there's no problems. Uh, again, just to kind of realistic the point, I don't want like to be repetitive. But this climb to Master, I, I'm confident I'm going to get it this season. But that's the wording, this season. I have been very close this season. Four times I was one win away from Master Promo. Um, but yeah, I'm confident I'll get it. And whether, you know... Uh, I'll just say the Unranked to Diamond series is going to be beginning very soon, probably the 1st of March I'm aiming for, and um, obviously that will become the main series on the channel, but there will be still Climb to Master stuff, it will still be happening, it will still be a series, but it just will be like every few days you'll have like a, a commentary with a big update, and be like, okay, this is what happened, this is where we are now, and if I ever get to the Master promo, then I'll probably record all of those games. Uh, but that's the idea. Now, just to mention something before with the commentary and stuff begins, uh, I will mention it when we get in game, but I'm going to start mentioning it more, is I am going to an event. People ask me all the time, Huz, when are you going to this event, that event, are you coming, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to an event ra randomly in Canada. Uh, it's in May. And uh, yeah, I hope people come. Um, so it'll be linked down below. It's called Fan Quest. It's its first ever year. And me and Fi, a fellow YouTuber, good friend of mine, we have been invited to go as full special guests. So, you know, flights and hotel, that's all being covered. It's going to be really cool. And it's in Winnipeg, Canada, the end of May. And I'll say if you're in the local area, please come. If you're not, then maybe still come. Because uh, it's only a, a weekend, so you'll probably only need like a one or two nights in a hotel, I think. Uh, but yeah, really, really hope to see people there. We're giving you a lot of time ahead of notice. You know, it's a few months down the line uh, to hopefully book, which will be fun. I don't know what to play. Um, should I just play something really basic? So I have been thinking to just go back to bare bones for a while, see if I can get some wins under my belt. And go with that, which I think I'm going to do. I'm thinking of Annie. And I'll say one of my biggest regrets this season um, has actually been unlocking the, the wrong Hextech skin. So if, if, you, if you don't know, I have some Hextech skins scattered on my different accounts. And on Admiral Banter, I've got Hextech Annie. And on this account... For some reason, I unlocked a Soul Stealer Vein. I think because I was like, I don't own Soul Stealer Vein, therefore I'm just going to play or get Soul Stealer Vein. Which was a mistake because I don't play Vein. She's not very good right now. And even if she was good, Vein is the type of champion that is very similar to Riven and stuff like this that you have to play them a lot in order to get good at them. So, yeah, that was a bit of a mistake by me. Uh, also, do I not have a good rune page sometimes i go into two technical room pages and then i don't have the basic ones what i would actually want right now is an ap page like this one but instead of ap blues it would have mr and i don't have that page because i have two random pages okay good uh, maybe i should fix that after this game but we're gonna do annie i think annie's actually surprisingly good uh what skin should we do though i've, I've got a lot of them uh, I think she's surprisingly good for climbing. Um, why didn't I unlock that skin? Let's go Panda. Um, that If you do want to just a basic mid laner that can do a lot of work, I think Annie's great. She can engage, she can one-shot, she can farm quite well, she trades in lane efficiently. Her weakness is obviously the lack of mobility, but it should be okay. So without much further ado, let's get in the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, the enemy team have a slight win percentage with a 50.1, and it does seem that lolskill is still bugged right now, so completely ignore the, the keystone mastery points. But anyway, let's break it down. We've got a Diamond 2 Graves, Diamond 2 Varus, Diamond 2 uh, Rivener, Diamond 1 Janna, and a Diamond 1 Annie as myself. Enemy team, a Diamond 2 Luna with a very good win rate, a Diamond 2 Corky with Cleanse, a Diamond 1 uh, Misfortune, a Diamond Vi, and a Diamond 1 Jarvan top um so yeah cleanse on corky i guess it will help him that to not get stunned 
but my goal will not be just stunning him, my goal will be one-shotting him. But if he gets an early Hex Drinker, I probably won't be able to do that. But without much further ado, both team comps look interesting. Uh, you know, they've got a Jarvan top, which you don't see much nowadays. But yeah, without much further ado, let's get into the game where we are playing Annie Mid. Okay, one of the games today, we're playing Annie, and I would just say between the champion selector now, I did put on my Gunners, mainly because my eyes have just been a little bit strainy today. Uh, if Again, if you're completely unaware, I had laser eye surgery a couple months ago. My eyes are perfect. The only thing is occasionally they feel a little bit tired, um, which is normal. So, um, yeah, I just put these on to reduce eye strain, basically. They work for me, if you're wondering, because I know a lot of people always have a lot of questions about these glasses whenever I wear them. Uh, so just to note something is that they are technically full AD, but they still do AP damage. So he does a lot of AP damage, and technically Misfortune does AP damage too, with ob obviously a Lulu. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. OP. What's OP? OP. Let's join in. Let's see if we can get a chain going. Um, so I do like our team comp quite a lot. We are very much an all-in uh, team comp. If we get behind, we don't have, like, a lot of ways to get back into the game. But um, if we get ahead, we probably win, I would think. Uh, we just have to basically embrace our inner Annie bot. So, Annie bot, if you're hearing me, give me your Annie powers. <laughs> um, she's not that difficult of a champion, obviously. She's very bare bones, but she's good. Like, that's my point. Is if ever you're feeling a little bit like, ugh... I really, really want uh, to win more games and stuff like this. Maybe it's time just to play a couple... Wait, really? Uh, maybe it's time just to kind of go back to basics and just focus on trying to get fed a little bit. Um, as I, I haven't spoken about this topic, I don't think, in a while. But some people, you know, majority of people in the comment section or even that watch the YouTube videos, you guys are obviously fully aware of most things that I'm talking about or do. But some people, they obviously do slip the net. Um, and one thing is playstyle. This season, I've played as a team-playing playstyle. I've not really gone for solo carrying. And it, yeah, it's gone fine. You know, we've got to a pretty high rating as playing as a team player. But maybe I should just start focusing on becoming a little bit more of an individual and carrying. Because, I don't know, the higher rating we're getting, the less I'm actually trusting my teammates. Which is a little bit weird, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so Annie, um... Obviously, last hitting with your Q gives you your mana back, so it's why Annie's very rarely go oom. Uh, which is great, because my, my last hitting is usually my weakest point. Uh, it's an, a Vine mid, which I guess you could gank me early, but I've always got Flash, so... I doubt they would kill me in the early game. Ooh, that actually hit me. Did return a lot of damage to him, I guess. He's got Cleanse. Which if I ignite him, he can just cleanse it. Which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. His temperament is, like, aggressive in places as well. Sometimes he'll be aggressive, sometimes he won't. He's like a dog. <laughs> if you poke the dog, he'll go at you. That was bad. I saw. I knew I was missing that CS as soon as I pressed the Q. Feels bad. Um... So Riven is already quite behind in CS. I don't know. Jarvan's becoming more of a popular pick. It's a bit random, but uh, yeah. So Corky is still a rather, you know, oppressing mid laner. Um, his job is just to kind of not really die and have more early game pressure than most mids. So he tends to get ahead in the early game. And then he's an AD carry kind of champion, so scales well anyway. So that's what Corky's for. It's very hard to kill a Corky in the early game. so Because he's got a good escape. His auto attacks hit like it. Well, his auto attacks hurt as well as his spells. So he usually out trades anything in the early game. Um, that was alright. Ah, he got flash. Nice. Good job, sir. Well done. I didn't want to flash for that because, again, he's got cleanse. If he had anything other than cleanse, I would have flashed. But he'll just walk away till the very next day and get some grapes. If you get that reference, well done. I guess I've got to be careful, actually, of down here now, I think, of it. Because Vi Q flash. Actually, oh, stop playing. I don't need to be careful. Cool. 
Well, careful apart from the 1v1. Uh, I could go for a kill on him at level 6, I guess. Uh, he does still have some potions. Oh, he missed the Q. That's pretty big. Remember, he doesn't have flash. I If I just do more damage than he's expecting, he will die, no matter if he cleanses it or not. If he, if he stayed right now, I think I would have killed him at level 6, because I think he wouldn't have got high enough health. Nice. I was expecting that, because they already got a heal quite early on. And they got a lot of summoners, apparently, as well. If you're a bot laner and you haven't picked up Varus yet, I don't know whether it's worth to do so, because obviously the nerfs will probably be coming into the lethality next patch. But if you know how to play Varus right now, I'd very much recommend it, because he's pretty much free rating right now. He wins lane, and he scales more than basically anything in the game with his Q. Again... It's a it's a it's a theme here. The champions that do a crazy amount of damage, they they obviously have to have a weakness, and very often that weakness is lack of mobility. And uh, yeah, he's exactly the same. His Varus is uh, if people just jump on him, he's dead. So, wow, he didn't go for Sheen first item. That's weird with this guy's playstyle. I guess he's going for survivability, which is then why wouldn't you go a Hex Drinker? See, that's just weird. He's been going for trades on me occasionally, but then doesn't go a Sheen. I'm confused. I wonder if I could get the, the cleanse out of him. Do you think I could? Maybe. Wouldn't my get him. Jarman had to flash away. So that's a good sign. I don't like that he's kind of freezing it. I guess he's scared of my Tibbers. If I did die because you overstayed with no vision. I'm just looking to Tibbers him, by the way. That's all I'm looking to do. Get him pretty low. Um, Just to have lane pressure. Very often with me playing more passive this season, I just haven't had control in lane. Even though that doesn't kill him, it gives me complete control of lane. He's too low to actually do anything, so that's really good. Um, so that's the idea. Graves potentially has got a really good gank in the second. Alright, uh, there's Vi. Yeah, that was a really good gank. Uh, Vi's there. She might try to solo dragon. No, wait, hang on. Huh. Okay, she's in mid. Okay, there's warded. Go back to mid lane. Riven. I think Riven will win in the 1v1. It just depends how much she gets, like, ganked. Just going to ping that because I think Vi's going top lane. Is she not going to pay attention? Probably not. Again, zero vision. Oh, what's with Riven players, man? <laughs> I don't get it. You warn them and they just don't care. We wouldn't be pinging for no reason, so. Okay, it's fine with me. Do, do, do. I do want to try to get a kill on him, though. See, Riven's spam pinging now, but she's actually the one that's causing herself to lose because she's not paying attention to the map, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, Corky's going to have package. If he jumps on my face, like, I think I can just burst him with Tibbers. What's he got now? He's got his Sheen now, so he does do more burst. He's still here. So my team is aware. The one person I'm nervous, obviously, about with Corky package is the Riven, because the Riven hasn't been paying attention to her lane anyway, let alone a Corky running. Surprised he didn't go then, to be honest. So now is a perfect time to go back, by the way. If you ever need to go buy items, as soon as you hear Corky Siren for his package, go back and buy them. You avoid his package timing. They could be doing this. Zero vision of it. Vi don't know where she is. Okay, there he is. 
So you wasted his package completely. You didn't do anything with it. That's good. <laughs> Top lane again. Like I mentioned, I said, I literally said earlier, it will depend how much the Riven gets camped and she's just getting camped without paying attention. It's her own fault. They want first blood tower. God, man. People live up to the stereotypes. <laughs> Goodbye, tower. If we get mountain, I think it could be worth it. But yeah, all River needs to do is just start to ward and actually know that she's going to get uh, ganked. She's going to die again if she's not careful. Because it's open. Like, I don't... The Riven may just not understand. Okay, I'm on my way. She just doesn't care, I guess. Cool. I don't know where Corky's gone. Okay, he's bot lane. Okay. If they if they group on him, they're fine. Good Varus Q. Just just leave, just leave, just leave. Please just walk away. Don't push it. Don't push it to the limit. It's not time. Push it to No, don't push it. <laughs> uh, they're gonna die. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, they cancelled. Get him! Auto. Auto Q. Bam. Nice. Okay. That works. Uh, but yeah, oh, this game, man. Riven's making it a bit difficult. but And just to kind of add, that Riven has a master border from last season. Whoa, she's already got Yumu. Yumu Vi without finishing jungle item. Sure. Do, 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 do. So we're lane swapping, probably because I can actually do a, a good 2v1 if they are going to put them against me. Um, but I'm, it's just this. Maybe Graves should go top lane or Janna or something. I don't know. There's a control ward in that. Okay, there's Corky. Remember, he has no flash. He will have cleanse up, but... I don't know if Cleanse is going to help him that much. I think he's pretty scared at the moment. Rightfully so, because I think I would just kill him if he comes near me. <coughs> I wonder if he warded that. I'm going to keep pushing for now, which is risky, because I have limited vision. But I'd rather me push that I'm quite strong with the chance to one-shot somebody than my team potentially, like, just walking into them. So I want to create pressure. Graves ult. No, Varus took a long time to roam. Like, he didn't even get there. Hmm. Yeah, Graves is like, hello? You alive? I'm going back now. There's no pressure on the map, so I can't keep pushing. It's crazy how much they can punish this vein. Well, it's not that crazy, but still. Zero four. Do, 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 do. Let's get Tibbers up. I want to look for one got flash up i really could do with flash it's why i missed the um enchantments oh 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 someone help hello god damn i swear people aren't paying attention
Okay. Still have tippers, so if someone walks into me. The lucky thing is they're all going damaged, so I pretty much one-shot all of them. Alt. Alt one of them. Press the R button. It's the one near T. <laughs> Thank you. Do that quicker. Infernal's coming up. <coughs> Alright. Hey, look, I'm kind of carrying. That's what I mean. Go bare bones, play something basic, and you should be okay. Um, I might change my build. I might actually go this. I know it's a bit weird to go rower now. It's really late to get. But I, these games usually go to late game. You know, when do you complete the rower, you need 10 minutes from that point to get the full item money out of it. I think I'll complete it in the next five minutes. I think this game will go on to 35 minutes. So I don't think that'll be an issue. I think it'll be fine. Hey, Corky hasn't done anything this game. Kind of weird for a Corky, to be honest. But I haven't really let him do a lot, to be honest, either. Okay. Just do it. No dilly dallying, please. The likelihood of Vi being top lane is really high because one, we have zero vision, and two, neither does the Riven. And also, they've been top lane a lot. I can definitely one-shot the Vi and the Misfortune. No doubt about that. Probably even the Jarvan if I use my full combo on him. Wait, they're, they're going Ninja Tabby? God, they're really invested in trying to beat this Riven. If they don't beat this Riven, like, and really badly, they're screwed. Can I have this, please? Thank you. Alright, get bot lane pushing, I guess. She should not take this. She's too weak. She just feed it away. Shouldn't let him take it for free, though. Okay, time to look for a flash tibbers, I think, very soon. I want to fight. Good cue. Riven has teleport just in case. Right. Alright. I nearly one shot her, by the way, with just Tibbers. I don't think my W was in range. Alright, now go get this tier 2. It's more gold. The more gold on the map we can get, the better. Okay, I'm actually going to send... Yeah, send Tibbers away from you while you're running away the other direction. And he'll teleport to you quicker. Therefore denying them the gold. What I want from this Varus this game, by the way, is his, no reaction ulting. When I, I just want him just to ult. If he sees an ult, just ult. That's what I want from him. If he does that, then I think this game is pretty easy. By the way, that Vi camped this Riven a lot, and she still uh, is me being able to kill people one-on-one -on -one and stuff. So that's a good sign. 
fire tibbers, they were all dead. Holy moly. That sucked. One HP, really. That should be a free kill for Riven then. Are they get letting Riven back into this game? If they are, that's really funny. No. They're not. <laughs> Is that the Riven? Yeah. <laughs> it's not surprising, man. I don't get people like this. Hmm. You just gotta laugh at it, I guess. I got my rower. That's what I mean. Now, at half an hour, I'll have a fully completed rower, and then we go. Ba ba boom. All right. Goodbye. She has uh, no offense to people who are in bronze, but this ribbon does have a very bronze way to her. No vision in top lane. Over, always overextending, and then complaining about kill stealing. Like hello. We're in Diamond 1 here, not Bronze. Who cares? Someone's here. But I don't know who. Alright. Um, I don't know whether it's worth me flashing for kills. That's the problem. They really want her. That sucked. I had no vision. That was my bad. Okay, Graves got Lulu. Yeah, that was my bad. I didn't realize Jarvan would just be waiting there. She should probably back off now. But she probably won't. And she's dead. No, you could have lived. She's so greedy. She could have lived. She would have outrun them with her E. Man. Okay, I got Tibbers in like thingy. 48. No! You need to come for dragon. You're completely oom. The problem we're going to have in this team fight is I don't have ultimate. If we can like bait them <clears throat> to not go for it thinking I have ultimate, then that's kind of what we need. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to not like stop them, I think. It is lashing down outside. I guess if I hop... Wait, did she just use teleport? She just used teleport for top lane? Nice, Graves. That's really good by Graves. Okay, screw this fight. Just let him die. I am... Usually I don't like saying it because it's always spe uh, speculative and it's never like fact. But I'm starting to think this isn't this Riven's account. It's a master border account, and a master person doesn't play the way she is. Even on a bad game. Everybody has their bad games, but nobody would just teleport to top lane and then leave it straight away. That's just somebody that's a bit clueless. Or very cl clueless in, in this matter. But yeah, well done Graves for stealing that. And they also got one kill, so that, that was really, really good. I think the lethality thing has gone too far. In a certain way. When the enemy jungler is going full lethality. Without finishing. Oh no they did finish the jungler. But full lethality. You do know it's a small problem. Because she's just going to get one shot. Please just back off. Like please if you're at all a high rating player. You know to back off right now. <sighs> Good tornado. I 100% one shot that Vi. Bye. Didn't even have stun up. 
Imagine if I have stun up. <laughs> she might lose the game for her team by going full lethality, you know? <coughs> she has no survivability against me. Good play. That was good. She did a good thing. She should be coming Baron. Riven. Hello. Riven. Come. No. And then she doesn't. Okay. I guess we just never can rely on there. Whoa. Good Graves. I think this Graves is pretty good with his smites. He stole the Infernal here and then just got the Baron of, uh, under a Misfortune ult. So yeah, no, he's good. Not doubting that guy belongs here. <laughs> I could go Proto Belt, but I'm not even sure you buy Proto Belt anymore. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, let's get the stun, or nearly the stun up. Um, so yeah, I pretty much can one-shot it all of them. With my full combo, that is. We should just be grouping. Riven should have outscaled. Oh, I already had stun up. Yeah, the Riven's outscaled the Jarvan by now. That's maybe why they wanted to get her so far ahead, but who knows. Vi's not going to do anything. She's gone full lethality. I'm helping. I did. Damn. Now we're getting a two in hips. That's fine. Bad game. Why is it a bad game? What? All right, we win a game. That's nice. So I kind of carried a game. So there we go. Just as I mentioned, whenever you're having a bit of a blur, just go to bare bones. Play something that you may have played years ago. Like, I obviously, I played Danny years ago, and she's very basic. She doesn't say much to play. So it let me just focus more on decision making and completely, I was not thinking about mechanics in this game whatsoever. And that helped, and I got fed, and I helped to carry the game, so that worked really well. And that's what I'd recommend for you guys to do. It's, it's sometimes a good thing just to go play more basic. You don't always have to play the really complicated champions. Uh, so we got an S- minus apparently, or something. Uh, we'll have a C. Yeah, I got. I was the only S in the game. I got an S-. minus. I went 6-1-4 on Annie, 194 farm. So I was nearing the top of the farm as well. 17 LP, and damage done. We were among the top as well. So it worked out really well. The Riven man, she was very questionable with a lot of her plays. She was a bit of a rager, wanted to surrender because she was doing bad, but then had no vision and was getting camped. It's like, come on. Like, if you belong in this rating, you should be doing better than that. And then the other big thing she did was we were doing in, or trying to get the Infernal Dragon, and then she teleported to top lane to clear minions, but then left the lane straight away. And it's like... What? What's happening right now? But anyway, if you did enjoy this and you enjoyed the lesson of sometimes going back to more ba basics, then hopefully you you'll use that yourself. But yeah, throw a like on it. Remember the event that I'll be in Canada, Winnipeg in May. It'll be linked down below. Feel free to get your tickets or ask questions or even contact them. I'm sure they'll answer questions if they have them. Uh, but yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time. See you.